Hey guys, it's Jen with Embracing Chaos. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my light. I don't know what else to do about the light. I did order a new ring light, so hopefully it'll get better soon. I'm just kind of working with what I had. So anyways, here today for my merch, my merch. <sighs> See what happens? <laughs> I'm here for my first meal prep video. So I'm really excited to share this. These, I have four recipes with you. I'm really excited to share them with you. Um, sorry, Ace is waving again. Ace, I don't know what to do for you, buddy. Anyway, so the first one that I'm going to make is from Slender Kitchen. And I will make sure that I post a link to all of these sites down below. Um, that way you guys can go and find the recipes. And then there's one that I just got off of Pinterest and it's not linked to a specific website or anything. So I will type in that recipe so that in the um, description so that way you guys will have that. So, so don't worry if you get super excited about something, you will be able to get the recipe. And then if you can't find it, just message me or something and I'll see if I can find it for you. So anyways, this was with uh, Slender Kitchen and it is Italian chicken sausage with peppers, potatoes, and onions. It turned out really good. I wasn't able to follow her recipe exactly because I didn't have everything that she wanted. Um, it called for new potatoes, which I didn't have those. I had some little like fingerling style potatoes that I got at Costco. And then she wanted us to use turkey sausage and I couldn't find Italian turkey sausage anywhere. So I found some Italian chicken sausage and it looks so good. I can't wait to eat it. Um, this is five points on green. Not quite sure how to figure out what the point values are for the other, other two for the purple and the blue. So I apologize. I just, maybe in the future, I'll figure that out. But for now I don't. Um, but Slender Kitchen, it is Italian turkey sausage with roasted peppers, onions, and potatoes. Like I said, I used chicken. Five points on green. The second thing that I made was Sloppy Joe Spaghetti Squash Bowls. They were six points for, per serving and they're huge. It's half of a spaghetti squash. So, I mean, I don't know if you guys are familiar with spaghetti squash. You will be when I'm done with when you see the rest of my video, but they're big, big. So that made two servings. So two days, I'll eat my Sloppy Joe Spaghetti Squash. Two is what I'm trying to show you, but my hands weren't high enough. And then four days, I'll have my Italian chicken sausage with the potatoes. I might, I might add more to it. I don't know. It's it's a lot of food, so I mean, I might add like a side salad or fruit or something. But I guess I'll show you when I do my what I eat in a day, and we'll see what it is. Now, also in this meal prep, Ava did make a special treat for us, so. You'll get to see that as well. And she's extremely excited to be on film again. So, and her recipe that she's making is zero points, as long as you don't use too much Ready Whip. And that's the only clue I'm gonna give you on that one. Top secret. And then for my breakfast, I made overnight oats. I got both of these recipes from Planning Us Healthy. Uh, Christy is the one who has that channel. She's got a website, which I will link down below. And then she's got a YouTube channel. They're both called Planning Us Healthy. I will link those down below because I'm telling you, I'm, I'm new to Weight Watchers. Well, this round, I started in February. And her recipes, like they got me through probably the first month because I had no clue what I was doing. And they're so good. And here I am still eating them. Like I eat her, one of her recipes at least once a week. I love them. My kids love them. They are fantastic. So I did, where did I put my paper? I made birthday cake overnight oats with sprinkles. Ta-da! And those are five points a piece on green. And then I made chocolate chip peanut butter overnight oats and those are six points now when you go to her channel or even to her website it does say all the point values for purple green and blue so that will be a plus plus. and then i i believe slender kitchen does too but i'm not positive like i said mine was a little bit different though because i had to use some different ingredients so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Super excited to share. Before we get started, if you could hit that like button for me, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. 
and if you feel so inclined, please hit the subscribe button. I really like to get my subscribers up a bit. I'm super appreciative for the ones I have though. So I'm just, I'm thrilled. I'm having so much fun doing this guys. And, and, and the support that I already feel even after just doing it for one week is just insane. So, I mean, I, I laugh every day with you guys and I smile every day because of you guys. So thank you already for that. And anyways, squirrel moment. <laughs> so subscribe and if you'd like to be notified of when I post more videos, if you hit the bell button next to the subscribe button, you'll get an alert every time I post a new video. So thanks again, guys. I really appreciate all your support. And I hope you enjoy my first meal prep. See you in a little bit. Bye. All right, guys. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and go through the recipe with you or the ingredients that I'm using. I'm starting with this mild chicken Italian sausage. The recipe did call for Italian turkey sausage, but I couldn't find it. So this is what I used. Called for 1.33 pounds of new potatoes. However, I found these at Costco, so I'm going to use these instead. We've got one onion. We've got one tablespoon of Italian seasoning and a half of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes in my brand new cute little bowls. Look at those. All right. Then we are going to have three peppers. We've got two red. Ooh. And we almost had a mess. Look at me. And then we've got one yellow pepper. We're going to do salt and pepper to taste. I've got my chicken broth that I also get at Costco. And then I have some olive oil spray that I'm just going to use to coat the vegetables before I put the seasoning on. Okay, so we will go ahead and get started on chopping up all these veggies. Alrighty. So I chopped up all my vegetables. I put them all in a 9 by 13 baking dish. I'm just going to spray them a little bit with olive oil. And then I'm going to put the seasonings on there. We're going to do some salt and pepper to taste. And then we'll give them a good stir and try and get the seasoning on the vegetables as evenly as possible. get my sausages in there. That's not going to work. I guess I don't have a choice because somebody took my scissors again. Oh, there they are. Those look so yummy. Go ahead and throw those away. All right. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut them all in half. And then it says just to nestle them in the vegetables. So I'll go ahead and how do you nestle sausage into a vegetable a bowl of vegetables? All right, that looks nestled enough to me. All right, so now we are going to bake this at 400 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. I'm going to get this into the oven and I will be back with you. Okay, so I forgot to add my one fourth cup of chicken broth. So I pulled it back out of the oven. I just put it in. So less than a minute in there. And I will go ahead and do that. Give it a gentle stir. All right, 
now we're going into the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. All right, so our timer has gone off. I went ahead and removed the pan from the oven. Um, so your veggies, I'm gonna eat one because. Yeah, I'd say they're pretty tender. So we're gonna let this cool and then we will get it plated up. All right guys, so our Italian turkey, our chicken sausage is nice and cool. So we will go ahead and start putting this in our containers. Okay, so I've got all four days ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and set these aside and we'll keep working on our Sloppy Joe spaghetti squash bowls. Alright, so we will go ahead and go over the ingredients for our Sloppy Joe spaghetti squash. I do have one spaghetti squash that I have cut in half. I'm going to be taking a spoon and scraping all the seeds and stuff out of it. I've got one can of tomato sauce. Got my handy dandy cooking spray. Velveeta cheese spread or cheese shreds. We're going to use two thirds of a cup of this, so one third for each half. We're going to use a half a pound of ground turkey. It does call for 99% fat free, but I have 97%, so this is what we're going to use. I've got two teaspoons of brown sugar in my cute bowl again. Got a half a cup of chopped onion, and in this bowl, I have three fourths teaspoon of garlic powder, three fourths teaspoon of onion, and a half teaspoon of kosher salt with one teaspoon of chili powder. And then an optional ingredient would be sliced scallions. I'm not sure if I have those. I'm going to have to look in my refrigerator a little bit closer. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this, and I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so we will go ahead and start by scraping the middle of these out. Kind of like carving a little pumpkin. Okay. Oh, now we have a rogue spaghetti squash seed. I'm gonna rinse off my hands really quick. going to do now is take a foil lined baking sheet. We're going to spray it with our cooking spray. We will put our spaghetti squash down, open side down, and then we're going to bake these in a 425 degree oven for 35 minutes. And while we're doing that, we will start on our sloppy joe mix. So I'm going to pop these in the oven and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I have my pan preheated and I have sprayed it with oil. I have it on medium heat. We're going to start with the onions. We'll go ahead and cook those for a couple minutes until they're translucent. And, I mean, give you guys a minute to enjoy my pants. So, if you don't know what these are and why they're so awesome, check out my grocery haul. I'm just saying. It's awesome. Now we'll go ahead and add our half pound of ground turkey. And we will cook this all the way through. All right, so I would say that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and add my other ingredients now. I don't know how much of the canned tomato sauce I was supposed to add. Um, so I'm gonna start with half a can and then I'll just go from there. And we'll get that mixed in. Okay. I'm gonna add my seasonings. 
and my brown sugar. Come on, little brown sugar. We'll mix that up really good. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted you guys to see what happened if you stirred too aggressively. That's what happens when you're an aggressive stirrer. Ha, 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 I don't know. What do you guys think? More sauce? That's about three-fourths of the can. I guess the point is to make it look about the consistency of sloppy joe. That's the whole can, and we're just gonna do it. I mean, it's a standard size spaghetti or tomato sauce, so. I know they make bigger ones, but I highly doubt I'm supposed to use 30 ounces of tomato sauce for two little pieces of squash. Look at this mess. I can't even blame this on my kids. This is all me. All right, so we'll let that come to a boil. So we got a boil. We will go ahead and turn off the heat. And now all we're waiting for is our spaghetti squash to get done. So I will be back once that's done. Okay guys, so our spaghetti squash have finished baking. As you can see, they're kind of squishy, which is where I want them. And they have cooled for a little bit, so hopefully they've cooled enough to where we can do this. What I'm gonna do is take a fork and shred the inside of them up. Then you'll see where the spaghetti comes from if you haven't seen spaghetti squash before. And then we'll proceed from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting these shredded. So you can see they kinda come out in strands like spaghetti and it's got a nice fresh squashy flavor and it should I mean I'm barely even pushing with the fork so it should come right off look at that Oh, yum. No, this is, like I said, this is a recipe that I found on Pinterest, but I've made this in the past and I mixed some um, olive oil, basil, and some fresh tomato and chilled this in the fridge and then added, just like I said, a little bit of a concoction of the fresh tomato, fresh basil, and olive oil to it. And stirred it up and ate it cold and it was so good it was a great summertime either like a side dish or a snack so yummy Whew, I've got my windows open today I just caught a whiff of flowers do you smell flowers Steve mm, I do that or my butternut squash I'm cooking in the oven smells like flowers <laughs> I don't know. And you can really take this down to the skin. Like I said, I'm barely pushing with my fork. I don't want to poke any holes in it because this is what I'm going to try and eat out of this week. I don't know how that's going to do as far as reheating and stuff goes, but we will see. All right, doesn't that look good? Ugh, I have to eat a bite. Sorry, guys. I love the brown parts, too. Mmm. Yummy. Too much yummy. So good. All right, well, let me go grab my pan here. 
I'll start scooping stuff onto it. Okay, so we've got our sloppy joe mix. Turn this around. All right. I'm glad we used that whole can because look at it, guys. That was a good decision on our part. Now, I'm just going to separate this with my spatula to what I think looks like half and half, but I'm sure you can get your food scale out and measure it too. But honestly, at the end of the day, I'm the only one eating this this week, so I'm going to be the one that is getting all the points, and once I eat both of them, they'll even out. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on top of each squash. Oh my gosh, this looks good. Now I have to decide if I'm going to eat this or if I'm going to eat my Italian sausage tomorrow. <sighs> Jeez. And I haven't decided how I'm going to store this yet. I might just wrap it in aluminum foil or something. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so good. It's a lot. Whoops. Oh, that's good. I didn't have any Sloppy Joe on my hands yet. I think, too, I usually have, like, packets of Sloppy Joe seasoning. I think you could probably mix that up with some ground turkey and onions, too, and just put that in there instead of the seasoning mix. Because this is good, but it's not extremely flavorful like I like my sloppy joes to be a little strong I guess it is good and maybe once you have the cheese on it and everything else it'll be a little better I don't think that it tastes bad I just like I said it doesn't have a strong sloppy joe flavor all right there we go oh that looks so good guys oh Yum. And then I've got my Mexican Velveeta shreds that I'm going to put one third cup on each. I thought I had cheddar left, but we ate it. So there's that. What are the chances you think I can get this on? Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Okay. Let me get my pan over here. That way I don't have to move them too much. Because we got to put them... We've got to put them back in the broiler or under the broiler for like two minutes it said just until the cheese is melted then I'm telling you guys right now I'm not good at using the broiler so if I ruin this I'm gonna be so disappointed look I told you I was gonna make a mess how are you supposed to get all that cheese on top of here oh. jeez Cheese Louise cheese. Stay, 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 stay. Ta-da! Oh, I want to eat it now. Okay. And then we'll get the other one. Look how big this piece of cheese is. See that? It's too big for this, right? I better eat it. Mm. Good thing I ate it. I'm going to turn off the whole thing. Okay, and I did modify this recipe a little bit. Um, so I will do the point values down at the bottom of the screen. Or I'll, I'll tell you at the end when I do my my follow-up video but there we go all right now I'm just gonna pop this in the oven under the broiler just long enough to get the cheese to melt so I'll be watching it really close which doesn't guarantee anything and then I will show you what it looks like once it's done let's keep our fingers crossed and hope it's not one great big ball of black mess see you in a little bit so here's what happened 
<laughs> I told you guys I would burn it. It's not ruined and I'm eating it like this. It is not ruined. But I got wrapped up watching Dish with Dee and I forgot I had him in the stinking oven. This two minute quickness thing, it, it doesn't work for me, but they're not, they're stuck to the thing. They're not ruined, they're still good. So I think once I reheat these, this will melt and I like burnt stuff anyways. It's not as bad as it looks, honestly. It's mostly cheese with a little bit of crustiness, so. <sighs> I told you guys, told ya. Got wrapped up watching Dish with Dee, so. <sighs> My bad. Still good. Still gonna eat it. No food wasted here.